Come with me on this absolutely glorious Friday the 13th. Hurry. Um, we have got a Renault Scenic 1.9 F9Q in for a bit of a turbo wine, which I'll show you now. Now this customer's complaining of a little bit of oil consumption, and if you just hear now, you'll hear like a little bit of woo, that sort of noise. Well, that is the actual turbo that's failing. Uh, right, let's get involved. Because we will be uh, removing the subframe on this vehicle and we need to remove the lower steering coupling, what we're going to be doing is getting the seatbelt, putting it through the steering wheel and making sure that that steering wheel is nice and locked. Now a lot of people say, yeah, you can pull the key out. Yes, you can. Absolutely. But sometimes you might need to just start that vehicle with the subframe disconnected and you're not going to damage that clock spring. Now we've got the vehicle half raised. Uh, before we take it fully raised, we're just going to remove the anti-roll bar links and the tracker ends, both sides, and everything now is underneath. Once you've got the vehicle fully raised now, uh, this subframe is probably one of the easiest subframes to take off. Four bolts either side, and we've got an engine link here, an engine stabiliser link at the back of the engine. Simple to get off. Look how much room we've got up there now to get the turbo off. Once we've got that subframe out of the way now, we need to just drop the uh, centre section off the cat. Uh, we're just going to pull it to one side with a little bit of a ratchet strap. If you haven't got any of these, Probably one of the handiest tools you can ever have. Like work, when you're working on a two post, you can pull uh, hubs all sorts out of the way. Only about three quid from BM, something like that. Right, let's move round to this cat now. A couple of 13 mils holding the bracket on either side, and then we can get up the flange and get them off. Gonna have to give them a bit of a clean Rooney because they do look a little bit crispy. Now we've got the cat out of the way, we've taken the intake pipe off the turbo and also the compressed side going out of the turbo. Uh, remove the oil feed pipe, which is two tens on the bottom of the turbo. The, no, the oil return pipe, sorry. And then the oil feed pipe which goes up the back. And I'm hoping that we can pull this off together with the turbo. If not, a little bit of a fiddle to get a 13 mil at the top here. But no drama, let's get a start. And with a little bit of magic, now that turbine is off. And as you can see, the extensive damage that is caused to the impellers. Um, you know that whining that you get when you're revving it, like a whoo. What it is, is them little fins, because they're not smooth and all broken up, it can't cut through the air, so it's causing like a turbulent sort of noise. Well, that's what it is anyway um, but as you can see we've got the brand new turbine here which is ready to go on which is looking just that little bit better now before we put the turbo back onto the vehicle uh, pay close, close attention to the oil feed and return pipes make sure they're nice and clean and the flanges where you've got your gasket make sure there's no old gasket stuck to it and what we're going to do leave the bung in the bottom of the turbo Get your little oil can, they do supply your little syringe, but I've got a little oil can to hand and we're just going to prime this cartridge up now. So it'll give it its best chance when you first start it up. Right, let's get this back on the vehicle. And there we go, that is one turbo now all back in place and everything's torque to spec. Uh, what I like to do uh, when I've fitted them, get your brake and clutch cleaner and just give the turbo a bit of a clean down because when you start it up you're not getting that oily burning smell off it. As you can see, I've washed everything else down now with a bit of brake and clutch, and it is nice and spotless. All we've got to do now is put the cat on, and I'm going to bore you doing this, and the subframe. Now we can drop it down, also we're going to be giving it an oil and filter change as well. And there you have it, that subframe now is all back on. Uh, while I go for my lunch, I'm just going to let the oil drain out into my lovely little receptacle. And then when I come back and I'm feeling a little bit more have a fat Friday, we're going to get a new sun plug in it, fresh oil and filter, and some fresh oil in it, give it a good start, Rooney. And that is the vehicle now all put back together with a fresh oil filter and a new sump plug. Uh, we put the correct amount of oil in it. What I'm going to do now is unplug the fuel pump and also the fuel rail pressure sensor. And that should not allow the vehicle to start. Let's get on the key now and we're just going to build that fuel, uh, fuel pressure, oil pressure. Now we've got everything plugged in, we're going to get our barn out and we're going to give the car a big start, Rooney. Now remember me at the beginning of the video where I said uh, start the car up with the steering column disconnected because I'm on a two poster ramp. I can't open that door to connect it, so good job I did, really. Right, let's get on the button. It is now running. What we're going to be doing now is sending it up in the air and checking all for oil leaks underneath. Now the vehicle is back up in the air. We're just doing a good check of it now. And from what I can see, we are absolutely Boom drive. Let's get it off the ramp now and take it for a bit of a test drive. And there you have it, we are now out in the car and it is driving absolutely perfect. Now for the first sort of mile or so when you put your foot down, this car had a lot of black smoke out the back. Now that is 
almost as if you've got a boost pipe so because the turbo hasn't been uh, boosting it's you know it's all clogged up so give it a good few thrashings and that will well as you can see now the car is driving perfectly with no noises whatsoever so anyway that is it i'm going to go back to the workshop and have a bit of a tidy up and i hope you all have a mint weekend let's get it sent